Hi, I'm Julie Marie and I'm here in the Protective Diet Test Kitchen and I'm excited to show you a guidance video to show you the three different ways to prepare tofu in Protective Diet recipes. The first being fresh tofu and I want to mention in all Protective Diet recipes it specifies to use extra firm water packed tofu. This is found in the refrigerated section in, in your produce department at your supermarket. You can also use firm tofu if extra firm isn't available. It'll work just fine. So you cut the package open and you drain off the preserving liquid because we never use this preserving liquid in any protective diet recipe. It's just what it is, a preserving liquid. And then we take the brick of tofu, we're using fresh blended tofu to make a base of, for a dip or a dressing. And you'll find it specifically noted on the recipe which style of or method of tofu you're using. You'll place it into your blender, first putting the liquids that are included in the recipe into the base of the blender, and then break up your tofu into smaller pieces to give the blender an opportunity to blend it. Now, always use your high-speed blender on high when blending any dips or dressings. Do not use the preset buttons or low. You will not get the blended, smooth consistency of a dip or dressing. The second preparation method is fresh tofu that is pressed. And we use this in recipes such as cheese replacement for lasagna. I'm going to do the same, cutting open your package and draining off all the preserving liquid. Then we're going to press the tofu. And sometimes people ask, well, how do I know if I'm supposed to press it or not press it? Read the recipe, it will be very specific. For fresh pressed tofu, you could use a tofu press like I do, or you could wrap your brick of tofu in a towel and press it between two plates just like this, and put a heavy weight on top of it for about 30 minutes. Then change the towel out, replace the weights, and you can put it in your refrigerator overnight to get all of that moisture out. What I recommend is that you pick up a tofu press. If you've been practicing a plant-based diet for a while, or you've made a firm commitment to practice a plant-based diet, like a protective diet, Okay, invest in a tofu press. They come in many different styles. I use the Easy Tofu Press. This one, it's held up for years. It's easy to clean and easy to operate. You can see I'm moving the dials down and it's releasing the liquid. Now, with fresh tofu, you need to press it for several hours in the tofu press. There's some recipes for faux meats that we want to keep this, this tofu brick in a complete brick. We don't want to break it apart with the press. So on those recipes, you want to drain off some of the liquid, press it down, and then continue to lower the press a little bit, just until it starts to break a little bit and then stop. And tilt it on its side. I usually just put mine on my counter here, or you could put it on a plate and put it into the refrigerator to refrigerate and drain off overnight or during the day while you're at work. This one I would allow to drain off and then I would continue to press it down. If you're using it for a lasagna or something you're going to crumble the tofu up in, you can press it down as far as you want to go, as far as it'll go to drain off the liquid. It's okay if you break the, the brick of tofu. Then the last method, which we use in some faux meats, and um, it's frozen and defrosted and pressed. So it'll say that specifically on the recipe. Now when, what I do is when I get my tofu home from the grocery store, I draw a big X on about four boxes and I put them into my freezer. So that way they're already frozen and handy because we want them to freeze for at least 24 hours, but you could leave them in there in your freezer up to six months. I take the frozen box of tofu out of the freezer. Be careful you put it into the back of your freezer in a secure place because if you open your freezer and you drop a frozen brick of tofu onto your foot, it's not a good experience. So keep them in the back. 
I draw a big X on my tofu before I freeze it so that I know when I defrost my tofu and put it into the refrigerator, I know which one's frozen and which one's fresh because that can get confusing. We can't use a frozen box of tofu and defrosted in a recipe that's a dip or dressing. The texture becomes like a sponge. And this is great when we're making different recipes for faux meats because it gives it a desirable meaty, meaty texture. Again, we're defrosting this um, on the counter. During the day, you could leave it out on the counter if you're going to make it for dinner. And by the time you get home, it'll be defrosted. If you forget to defrost it, you could run it under a bowl of hot water and allow it to defrost for about an hour and it'll be, it'll be good to go, which is what I did with this one. Um, and this becomes like a sponge. You could almost press it with your hands. You could do it with two plates very easily, or you could do it with your tofu press. With plates, you just do it like this, and it comes straight out. A lot of times I don't even bother with my tofu press because this is called a quick press. It happens immediately. We do not have to leave it sitting and pressing and all the moisture comes out. And just keep pressing it until it stops draining, which is about now. And you can see it's a very firm brick compared to the fresh tofu that breaks apart. I'm just going to show you this for an example so you know the difference. Hopefully this video is going to help you to perfect your protective diet recipes and the different ways that we use tofu within them. You can see this brick of tofu, it still needs some pressing time. I would leave this in the refrigerator for the day or overnight and allow it to press on the plate, but it's, it's softer in nature than the spongy tofu. So if a recipe requires fresh pressed tofu, use just that. If a recipe requires frozen, defrosted, and pressed tofu, use that for the best results. And then we also have, just to review, this is fresh blended tofu. Drain off the preserving liquid and crumble it up into your blender on top of any liquid ingredients and blend on high for the best creamy dressings and dips. Use a high-speed blender such as a Blendtec. I love the four side jar, it'll blend a brick of tofu no problem. Take care and best of health.